Do you want 425 bonus XP, some extra credits and 1250 performance points for the Incursion Season Pass in Deep Rock Galactic? Of course you do and I'm going to show you how by completing this random mission that happens in Deep Rock Galactic that pretty much will give you all of them rewards. This involves bringing down a hackable pod and you need to link that pod with this obelisk you see on the right hand side. This is all part of the season one content that was added in November so it's still pretty fresh and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So it's a random chance of happening you'll come across one of these obelisks and you need to activate it. It will summon a hackable drop pod nearby and you need to then go and find upload links from it and make sure it connects back to this obelisk. So once you cleared out any enemies, go up to the obelisk and hold and press the button and that will cool down the hack pod. The hack pod will show up as a blue little square nearby, so dig through if you're unlucky if it's in another cave. It looks almost like an ammo pod, so be careful you don't just ignore it or assume it's some old one. These glowing canister nodes will spawn from it consistently and you now need to connect it to that obelisk. It has to be in line of sight, so you don't have to put it on the floor. You can put it on cave walls or ceilings if you really want to make it a bit easier. There is a big green glow as well. It also has to be within that range of that circle, but it does have to be in line of sight of each one and you basically build a path of them all the way through to that obelisk. Like I said, this may be a bit complicated going ahead and getting all this done, but eventually by the time you get connected up, you then have to press the button on the obelisk and head back to the hack pod, which you're going to have to defend against a wave of enemies. You can obviously see we've got the matrix green lines going and flowing all the way to it. And once that's done, head back to the hackable drop pod, like I said. You'll find an abundance of creatures, including patrol bots and sometimes shredders as well, come in to pretty much take down the hacking probe. It won't attack you, it will literally just go and try and stop the hack from progressing. And if that happens, it will pretty much shut up shop and you'll have to start it up again. This is effectively a teaser for what's to come. The specific missions like this, which are called sabotage, and you pretty much will be doing the same thing in that mission, but it will be a proper mission where you have to do maybe two of these before taking on a huge final boss. The line will be green when everything's going okay, but as soon as it goes gray, it means the enemies have actually managed to stop it. That's when you need to go and restart it. So if you complete all of this, as I said, you'll get 1250 performance points bonus or 350 if the team actually fails the mission. But to fully complete it, you need to go back to the data entry obelisk and actually get a data cell. It will be sitting there at the obelisk waiting for you to pick it up, deposit that into your mule and then make you escape. And that also gives you a script point as part of the incursion season. This may change in the future, obviously, as the seasonal content will change every three or four months. Apparently, the first 10 of these that you come across will reward you with one script point each, but after that, you'll only get experience and performance points for it. Deposit it into the mule, and that is it. That's the completion of this hacking mini game. You can clearly see the data cell that we got is worth 425 XP, and then we've got like 200 and something credits also for it. And as you can see, it does a massive boost to your actual season pass stuff that you'll definitely get a script. Like I said, more XP going towards it. Hope you found that useful. Go and check out the rest of my fresh 2022 Deep Rock Galactic Glides, especially out for the PlayStation players playing it for the first time. And I'll see you right back later.